10 miles north of Allentown, Pennsylvania, on State Route 145, across the Lehigh River, is the cozy little village of Triclers. Situated in Northampton County, the town is named after Henry Trichler. Off Blue Mountain Drive is a tiny little street called Breadfruit Drive. To the casual observer, it's just an abandoned dead end, but to the rail fan, there's something more going on. The now out-of-service Mauser Mill is located here. The five-story roller mill originally drew water to power its turbine from the Lehigh Canal. In 1891, the mill contained one Victor brush in the basement, seven sets of rolls, two run of stone, and one Silver Creek smutter on the first floor, two flower packers and four purifiers on the second floor, and three chests and a brand duster in the attic. The mill was originally built by Berlin F. Bow as Franklin Mills in 1871, but the story begins even further back than that. David Kuntz established a mill in 1794 and the town was called Kuntzford. When Henry Trichler became the owner of the Kuntz Mill, the town became known as Trichlers. In 1862, Jacob Mauser established a grain mill that became one of the largest grist mills in the Northeast. Mauser also had a mill in Laurie Station and on Canal Street in Northampton. The firm was recognized for Mauser's Best Flour, a staple on the shelves of many former neighborhood stores. Both the Laurie's Mill and the Northampton Mill were destroyed by fire, but its flagship mill here in Triclers was operated by the Mauser family from 1882 until the late 1960s. In the 1970s, it became a part of ConAgra Grain Processing, the large Midwest milling conglomerate of then Omaha, Nebraska. ConAgra is a worldwide company with plants all over, including this one in Milton, Pennsylvania. And if those ConAgra covered hoppers look familiar to you, they should. They were a common sight on the now abolished trains 10A and 11A. ConAgra is also the parent company of Lamb Weston, who we talked about in America's Coolest Trains, video T160. There's a link to that video in the description and in the pinned comments so you can check it out, just in case you missed it. ConAgra used the mill to grind oat flowers until 2014. After that, the landmark mill closed and the milling era ended in the village. So why are we here? Triclers used to be a stop for the Central Railroad of New Jersey. If you're hip to Northeastern Railroad history, then you may know that the CNJ departed Pennsylvania in 1972, ceding its Pennsylvania rail operations to the Lehigh Valley Railroad. The valley was folded into Conrail in 1976, and this stretch of track became part of Conrail's Lehigh Line. Conrail was split between Norfolk Southern and CSX in 1999, giving NS ownership of the line. Since Conrail's formation in 1976, the Delaware and Hudson has had trackage rights over the Lehigh Line, which was inherited by the Canadian Pacific when they took over the DNH in 1991. CP ran several trains a day over the Lehigh Line, including what NS classified as the 39Z, which we can see here moving northbound past the mill on April 30, 2010. Those loaded trash gondolas at the front of the train and the intermodal containers are an easy indication that this train originated in Oak Island, New Jersey. Note the Burlington Northern hopper spotted on the siding and another covered hopper spotted at the mill. So what exactly does all of this have to do with unit gas trains anyway? The Lehigh Line is the former route of the 36T and 37T trains that were abolished just a few months ago. And with the loss of those through freights, the Lehigh Line north of C.P. Ham in Allentown is barely used except for a few local trains per week. But the tracks are telling us a different story. In addition to the mirror-like shine on the rail tops, new cross ties along the line show that springtime maintenance is on the horizon. So why spend good money on a barely used line? I think it's in preparation for unit LNG gas trains. In video T173, we talked about the Bloom Line, but we also talked about the very real possibility of unit LNG trains from Bradford County in northern Pennsylvania to Gibbstown, New Jersey. There's a link to that video in the description and also in the pinned comments, just in case you missed it. With all of the railroad losses we've suffered over the past couple of years, some good news in 2019 was that we might be seeing unit LNG trains moving through the area. 
if it actually happens, it was made possible by a special permit that was issued by the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration. This special permit authorizes up to 100 car unit trains to roll between the Marcellus Shale Fields around Wyalusing, Pennsylvania, which is on the Lehigh Railway in Bradford County, to the Philadelphia Gibbstown, New Jersey area transload terminal. The reason I think that this is the case is because of a special train that came up the line after our stop in Triclips. Train 901. An FRA geometry train, that's the Federal Railroad Administration, came up the NS Lehigh line past Jim Thorpe, moved on to the Reading and Northern's Lehigh Division at CP Independence, up the Reading and Northern to DuPont Junction, and north on to the NS Sunbury line. From DuPont, 901 moved north to Binghamton where it tied down for the night, and I'm told that it went west over the southern tier to Sarah, Pennsylvania, and down the Lehigh Railway, the very route that gas trains will most likely be taking. Of course, this is speculation on my part, and only time will tell if my theory pans out. But we can always hope. For Trains 21, call me AC.